If you find yourself going through there a tough is. time in your life right now, then this video is for you. The word for this video is perseverance, and I teach Eddie how to ride the one wheel, and he shares with me his story. My name is Jimmy Chang, and I ride the one wheel. I also like to play basketball, and here I am playing basketball in this gym I've been playing here for many years. Some of these guys have been playing with for a while. One of my teammates, his name is Eddie, and every time I play with him, he's always cheering me on. Listen to what he has to say here in the background. And that is a nice crossover. Eddie's right. I played with Eddie for a while, but I didn't know his story until recently. I had to Google it. This is what I found. Eddie's a super humble guy, and I'd been playing basketball with him for several weeks before I finally realized he was an NFL football player. Here's some highlights. Third and seven. Weeks of impressive play at training camp all built up to this moment during the Bills' preseason opener. Eddie Yarbrough, an undrafted free agent that was cut after camp last year by the Broncos. So, who is he? This is another guy from the University of Wyoming out here trying to make a name for myself. So I'm here with Eddie. We're at basketball. And, uh, all right. All right, this is, this is Eddie. Introduce yourself, Eddie. Here, Eddie here. Eddie Yarborough. Here at basketball tonight, I'm going to try this electric skateboard here and uh, really get jiggy with it. In the beginning, I said the word for this video would be perseverance. Let's hear about Eddie's story. Life's a journey. It's not always going to be a smooth slope. It's going to sometimes going to have to have to grind a little bit and go through the hard times. My story is uh, kind of a long one. You know, coming out of college, I was projected like to go. not even make it out of the third round, and and I get to Denver, Natural. get cut, and I end up being out of football for a whole year. The whole there time, you go. I had people saying like, you yes, know, you figured it out. You had a good the career. Discount. You had a, had a good time. You know, right. you did some good things and. The whole time I was just saying, hey, that's not going to be me. It's not going to be me. I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep grinding, keep doing what I can. So a whole year goes by. And uh, I'm on my couch watching Monday Night Football, Thursday Night Football. I don't get a there call. I don't get a whisper, uh, hey, come on, let's go and work you out or anything like that. And, yeah. and for the most, most of the time, people get out of football for a year. That's usually it for them. So like, when we ask, like, what are He's the odds it. that... I, I make it all the way through and everything. a year not playing football and, and to come full circle and make a 53-man roster. What are the odds that happen? Good recovery, and nine. he's I'm off. I'm just blessed and humbled by the whole experience, but I had a lot of naysayers saying, like, hey, you know, uh, throw in the towel. You had a good college career. You got your degree. Go get go get a job or something, you know. I knew that uh, football was for me. Amazing. Yeah. Eddie Yarborough. How's it feel? Feels good. Yeah? Uh, you know, I don't want to say I'm an athlete. Courtney <laughs> Cohen over there, she's a real athlete, but you know, I feel good not following you. It's the very first time I did it. Yeah, no, you did awesome. Thanks, man. I don't want to, I don't want to embarrass you or anything, but uh, so, so tell us, tell us a little bit more about yourself. We're gonna get jiggy with it. School of Wyoming, Grandview High School, Royal Colorado product. Uh, I play for the Buffalo Bills. What position? I play defensive end, outside linebacker. What number are you? Number 54. Number 54. Buffalo Bills. Yep. Tackle people for a living. It's pretty great. And I come here to get a little light cardio. That's right. So if, if we broke anything in your contract just now riding this thing. Uh, oh, 100%. No harm, no foul. No harm, no foul. No okay. harm, no foul. If anything, if anything on Ray goes, I'll just give them your contract and you can pay for it. All good. Okay. All good, James. <laughs> All right. percent. Thanks again, man. No problem. <laughs> See, I, I longboard. I longboard. You longboard. I, okay. I longboard a little bit. I snowboard a little That's bit. why you had the, the turning. Yeah. Like I, the heel turn. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Longboard. I can't do that anymore since we're in the season. One of the coolest things about being a professional athlete is you get to have Marv Albert call your name during a sports commentary. Eddie Yarborough. Eddie Yarborough. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't jealous of Eddie. Jealous of him having Marv Albert call his name during a sporting event. I wish I had Marv Albert calling one of my games. James oh. and put it, down. Oh. <laughs> it was a fun night of basketball. We had a good team. Everyone got touches. Everyone hit buckets. And we played well together. And then when we weren't playing, I was teaching my teammates how to ride the one wheel. It was a lot of fun.
Michael taking off. The patented tongue comes out. Just, just in front of that line. Look at this. The double clutch, the reach out. And the I love how Eddie calls that one. I feel good about this one, guys. He is so positive. I've had the chance to meet and interact with NFL football players over the years. The thing that strikes me with Eddie is just how positive he is. He's always cheering his teammates on. He's always rooting for them. It's that positivity that helps him be so persistent and be able to persevere even during times of trial. Let's continue listening to his story. I've worked too hard to, to get to the door and be like, oh, you know what, oh, you, you, came, you got close. I remember immediately thinking like, all right, you'll see, watch me. Twenty sixteen season comes, twenty sixteen season goes. Nothing. Absolutely zilch. I said I refuse to let this be my story. I refuse to let this be the end of my football career. So this whole time I wake up about 6 45, 7 a.m., work out to about five and do it all on my own. Not get paid by anybody. And then I would go clean carpets from about ten o'clock at night to like two and three in the morning. A lot of people are like, what are you doing? This isn't a life. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna play in the NFL on Sunday. I was doing everything possible I think I can, I can think of to set myself apart from everybody else to get my, my fair shot. Then I had, had one ring. It was the Buffalo Bills. Bills, yeah. I recommend you all to check out the entire video by Pick 6 Creative, a Buffalo Bills Beyond Blue and Red feature. I'll have a link down below. I truly do feel that the keys to Eddie's success are his perseverance, his positive attitude, his willingness to work hard. If you find yourself struggling in life, keep your head up. Surround yourself with positive people. Try to persevere through those trials and work hard. Eddie, I think he'll find success in whatever he chooses to do, the NFL or any other career, as long as he stays positive and he perseveres. Coming around again and they get him again. Nice play turned in that time. Eddie Yarborough. Yeah. Gonna get jiggy with it. Eddie Yarborough. 